Ruth Ware's Turn of the Key is an adult mystery that high schoolers will appreciate. It is creepy, it's a little scary, and there's a good murder mystery to unwind. And there are also a few surprises that I didn't see coming, which I always appreciate in a good mystery. The main character is Rowan, a 20-something young woman in London who takes a job as a nanny at a high-tech smart house in the Scottish Highlands. The house at Heatherbray Estate used to be a Victorian mansion with assorted past. The married couple who bought it kept some parts of the original but completely remodeled it and added on. The rooms all have cameras and smart assistants for lights, for music, even the smart locks for the doors. The bathroom showers even have settings for different people, all run by the smart system. I think you can see where this is going. As soon as Rowan arrives on the job, she is left alone with three children in a house that she doesn't understand how to operate. It's one thing to be a nanny responsible for three kids. It is quite another to be a nanny in a house where you aren't sure how to turn the lights on, turn off the overhead music, or even lock the doors. And in a creepy Victorian mansion in the Scottish Highlands where a computer run things, you definitely want to lock the doors. Read this one with a friend because you will no doubt want to talk about all the privacy issues that come up. Did I mention there are cameras in the bedrooms? Uh, you'll also want to talk about the big reveal about who did it at the end. The story is told, uh, told in form of letters to an attorney, which it gets a little tiresome at first, and I thought the end was a little contrived. But Turn of the Key is a creepy, fun read that will generate some really good discussion.